Good evening. <laughs> um, just gonna go ahead and get this out of the way real quick. Um, I might bring it up later if anyone talks about it or asks about it, but I know I haven't streamed in a while. I took kind of a impromptu break and <laughs> I see she. Bitch is always gender neutral. Don't you worry about it. Trust me. It is extremely gender neutral. <laughs> Thing. Thank you for the 25 months. It's been two years plus one. Thank you, Zach, for the 15 months. Thank you, thank you, y'all. Support is always important to me. Um, goodness, what was I saying? I took an impromptu break. Um, wasn't planned. Was very much needed. Um, a lot of stuff has happened. Has and hasn't happened in the past couple weeks. I kind of fell into a depressive spiral. But I'm, I'm normally really quiet about those things. Um, and so... It just kind of happened, um, and it took me a second to kind of work my way out of it. Uh, so I haven't been streaming, and if any of you are following, like, my Patreon or my AO3, I also haven't posted anything that I was supposed to post last month. So it all got put on pause, I kind of crumbled, I'm okay now, and I'm working on getting stuff taken care of. Um, one of the things we're going to work on taking care of is streaming. Um, so a cozy little stream tonight. Get started, and I will stream something tomorrow as well. Um, this probably won't be a super long stream, but I just wanted to do a little something. Anywho, hello Zach, hello Sushi, how has your evening been? This game, also, if you guys don't know, this is Terra Nil. Um, it is a terraforming puzzle simulation game. I've wanted it for like a really long time. I bought it like last week or something. I've already almost got a little bit left to do. Um, I'm not going to do a new map like I haven't done. I'm going to do one I've done before. Um, we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna do a river valley, and we're gonna look for beavers. They're the only animal I have. Well, that's not true. They're not the only animal I don't have. They're the only animal in this area that I don't have. I don't have narwhals either. At least I assume that's a narwhal. Yeah, I'm gonna look for beavers. So. And I'll go through and kind of, like, walk through some of the steps and explain to you guys what I'm doing. Unless it tries to make me go through the tutorial again, because I'm doing the first level. In which case, you know, that will happen. Coffee. Hey, okay. Let us zoom out a bit. Okay, so beavers. Hmm. 
Oh, I can't see you guys through the hype train method on my Twitch mobile. Are you serious? How do I make it go away? Uh, grant from success. Hold on. Mobile Twitch. Why do you do this to me? Bees! Okay, I'm okay in the car cradling the food. I have an important job. You do have an important job. Cradling the food is always important. Why just bees? Oh, was it on the book? Bees are important. Beavers. Not bees. Beavers. Um. Completely threw me off my... Beavers need forest and river. And so the plan was to try to put a forest on two sides of a river. I think I'll do that here. That way there's plenty of river around. There'll be plenty of forest around. <clears throat> and hopefully it will... Come on, game. Give me what I need. Okay, the first thing's first, we need electricity. So you build a little wind turbine on top of a rock. Um, where did it all start? Uh, let's start here so we can fill in the mm -hmm. So now that we have electricity, this is a toxin scrubber. We can stick it in a bunch of different places, but we need to make sure it gets good range. So you have to scrub the earth with toxins, and then you have to get an irrigator. To irrigate. Okay, but we're also going to put a water pump up here first. And I found this. There we go. Okay. And then, let's see, what shape is this? Oh, it's kind of a funny shape, isn't it? You- actually, you know what? Let's wait before we put the irrigator down. Let's get some more area clean. And we'll see if we can make better use of our irrigators. This, yeah, this is a calcifier. It makes rocks. This is an excavator. It does like a little, makes a line for a river. I might need to do that down here. Uh, you know what, actually, let's go ahead and just do that right now. I just don't know if that's going to reach. I want it to go this way. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, that, that works. Like there. There we go. And we're doing this 
before, because if I did that, like say I did this over here, it would pollute the earth again over here. I will need to put one more. I can stick it here. Let's stick it over here. I don't know where I'm going to put this though. You put it here. And we'll put a scrubber on the end. Okay. That second. Let's get back over here. Get back to scrubbing. Thanks to TikTok, I have become aware of the Death Note musical. And I've got like, I don't even know the whole song, I've just got one part of the song stuck in my head. Okay. Game is seen at me that I'm running low on resources, but we can fix that really quick. Which song? I don't know, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. I've never seen the Death Note musical. I didn't know it was a thing. Zach, I'm not surprised you do. You tend to play a lot of these games as well. Do you have the game, Zach? Death Note. Yeah, Death Note the musicals. <laughs> I'm sorry if you didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know it was a thing either. Now we know together. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Mm, I need more water. Uh, we need it over here. It doesn't have a range. It just doesn't have a range, huh? We're gonna put that there and see if that well, it kind of helps. Hmm. 
there's a rock in the way. That's why that's not working. Get rid of that. It, next time I hear the song, I'll like send it to you on TikTok. Because um. what it is, or like what it's becoming, is like because of Transformers. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is because of Transformers. Um, I I end up with some of these songs, and they're like, oh, because Megatron was a revolutionary when he started out. Um, and so you'll have these songs that talk about those subjects and they'll be like in relation to the wrongs that uh, like the caste system of Cybertronians. I swear I don't try to make everything I talk about about Transformers. It just happens. So this is his first game. Oh, I also watched a YouTuber play. This is his first game he played after leaving the one game sphere. The one game, like his, what do you mean? Like he was really into like one specific game and had to leave and do his own thing or? I'm a little confused. Okay. That's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. And it's like, it's a cozy game. It's fun. I need... Alright, what's in here? It's gonna be too close though, isn't it? I need the, I need the calcifier to be over here. I need more water. They don't want to give me more water. Slightly better. We're gonna, we're gonna stick it there. Nope, stick it there. He only played Balloons Tower Defense and then he started playing a bunch of games. A variety streamer for you to do. What, this or the Balloons Tower Defense game? I always end up doing my irrigators like this. I don't know why. It's just how things go.
I wish I had pylons. Pylons are a thing later. I don't have weather yet, do I? 76. Quick face humidity. That would be fun. And useful. Hold on, my phone is going off. I've never played Blooms. It's like one of those games that like I know of. That's about the extent of it. Are you too close? You're not too close. Okay. We're trying to get that little half circle. Oh, it's not a half circle, but like that little meter up in the top left. I know my left right from left. I'm trying to get it full. Do it. Might not do better than 119. I guess not. Never mind. It's going there. Hi, Yulia. Why are you still awake, darling? Why did that not fill up my screen meter? Fucking goddamn it. Well, I would ask how you're doing, but I guess I know the answer. Second. Research center. Stick you over here. There we go. Need humidity at ninety percent. Humidity's at thirty one. Okay. Forest on either side of a river. Oh, but I might have to... Oh, there it is. <laughs> My brain's like, where's the thing to set the forest on fire? to set uh hmm you know what the problem here is is it's only gonna set this on fire 
We need to set more things on fire. That's fine. Have you ever seen this game before? Is it like Minecraft? It is... Uh... It's Terra Nil. My brain just blinked. The game's called Terra Nil. It is a terraforming... Simulation. And I also classify it as a puzzle game because like, I have resources. And I have objectives. And like, you have to be smart about how you put things together. I- Developer Digital is having a sale right now, so this game is probably on sale. If you want to, like, go to Steam and look at it. <clears throat> but, like, this is the temperate, uh, like, forest climate area. And so our little areas are, like, a flower field, wetlands, and forest- actually, it has a name. Fin- Fin boss? I don't know what Fin boss is. But, like, it's a flower field. Or maybe it's not flower field, like, these are bushes. But, like, you get them by putting a, a beehive in a tree. Also, uh, Yulia, who is sleeping, and Sushi, who is watching, in a little bit, when I get to 70%, rain is going to begin, and there will be thunder noises, so just giving you all a heads up. I know that's not a problem for Yulia, probably. Maybe it'll help her sleep. Um, <laughs> but for Sushi, because I know... Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a very pleasant sound, but I understand, like, hey, not everyone wants that. Hold on, if I stick this here. Wait, if I stick this here. Does that help? That helps. Okay, my objective at the moment, I might have to make the forest and then set it on fire. Oh, I can't. I have to burn it. I do have to burn the forest down. Okay, hold on. Out of context things, wondering why I'm plot plotting arson. <laughs> that dragon's invalid. Why is that dragon? You want me to set the flowers on fire first. Okay, fine. I feel like I go through this every time. Arsons of the forest, yep. There's ashy nutrients. We can plant a forest. Okay. 
There we go. This isn't going to fill up enough. I'm gonna have to still put another ore somewhere. Unless, would that fix it? That would not fix it, so it doesn't matter. Okay. But hopefully, though, this is enough for my beavers. I don't know if it's going to be. You're not close enough, are you? Mm. The other one I haven't done yet is the wetlands. You have to get irrigators. And put a hydro thingy in them. Hold on, I forget what it's called. Hydroponium. Honium. Which will also increase our uh, humidity. That could be further out. See, this isn't going as far because things are in the way and I don't have enough over here. See, that would put me at 63%. And then I would just need one more to put me at 70. Can I get that? Mm. Close to another cedar. Six. I'm gonna be off by one. Are you serious? I don't like coming up. I'm gonna be difficult about it. There we go. Right, there's a reason I wanted it to rain. I need it to fill in the rest of the area with greenery and finish detoxifying the area. So a brainstorm should be beginning soon. <laughs> I had 69% for a little bit. 69% humidity. There's other ways we could say that, but let's not. I needed it to be over 70. See, what are we missing? Water lilies, salmon run at 90%. Okay. Let's see, we need more forest, which means I have to set something else on fire. Can I 
just set the tree on fire? That's not enough, right? It has to be a forest in this area. Never mind. Fire! I know this is a little counterproductive because it's raining, but... A strong enough fire is not going to give a fuck about your rain. I didn't see this little area. <laughs> Oopsie. There we go. Okay. Now we have plenty of forest. And see, I can put, like, it's not, there's no point to me putting the flowers here, but I can put them at the edge of a forest like this. Okay, I do need more wetlands, though. So what we will do is we will build an area. What would be a good place? Right here? I think right here would be good. and climate reestablished. Okay. So technically, we are mostly done with this whole thing. What I have to do next is I have to reintroduce wildlife and then recycle everything. So we build a thingy. What is it called? Animal Observatory. There we go. And then these are the animals I've already discovered. Beavers are the only ones I don't have. And it's because it kept telling me... Like that. It tells me it's in range of river, but the ten forest tiles is met. And I don't know what that means. Like, it needs more river. It needs more river. There we go. Beavers. I have achieved beaver. Look at him. Look at him go. There'll be more beavers. Hold on, let me get the rest of the animals in here. You only need three, but, like, I've got six. So, wolves... Oh, wait, hold on, deer. Wolves need forest and deer because they're predators. They need, like, you know, what they eat and stuff like that. need wetlands and fenbus. Frog. Frog. More thunder. over the thing, please. How about? I might not be able to have geese here, because I don't have enough... I don't have a lake. Area, essentially. Like, there's not enough just water on all sides. It's okay. I got beavers. 
Maybe we just can't have geese and beavers at the same time. Oh yeah, I might also not be able to have bears either if I don't have... I don't, I don't have the forest up on a elevated platform. Yeah. I don't think, anyway. Mm. Yep, that's okay though. Okay, no geese or bears. I finally got my beaver, so. What is it? What was it with beaver? 20 river tiles and 10 forest tiles, I see. So they did need the double wide river. Or well, I guess. But anyway. I need to increase humidity by 5%. That doesn't. There we go. Perfect. Okay, and now there is salmon and water lilies. Okay. And so now we recycle. Where do I put you? Let's see you over here. I think. Yeah, this works. Okay. And then we have a little ship. We have bees. We have bees. Our little... It's not a ship. It's a little... Well, the airship. This is a, um... Recycling drone. Takes all the stuff we use to build that stuff. Oh, my beavers are over here now, too. And it sticks it. Oh, well, okay, I guess it doesn't. But, like, the ship will start to be built out of the stuff. Oh, hello. I don't. I need to be using my silos. I'm silly. Did I miss? Okay, it should be fine. Yeah, there we go. I got my beavers. Look at them. They're there. Does that not reach? Oh, bless it all. I miss my recycling beacons. My monorails.
high, his game might be crashing. Yep. Oh no. Well, that just happened. Did stream crash? Did stream also crash? No? Okay. <clears throat> Hold on, let me... Restart the game. Game was like, psych. Thought you could do this. Uh, it should pop me back into the map, I think. It auto saves rather frequently. Game was desperately trying to catch up to where I was. Oh, but my animals aren't here. Oh, bless it all. Alright. Okay, well, let me... I have to redo this anyway, because I messed up this. I can't get to this. Beavers. Beavers went here. Deer went here. And here. Wolves went here. Frogos went here. Okay. Are you going to make me put in a water pump? Primus. Okay. I could try again. I know I'm not going to get the. Yeah, no, they really just want it to be a lake only. I know I'm not going to get the bear because none of my forest is up on top. It has to be like it's a forest and it needs the beehive area a little bit, but it also needs to be up on a hill. Anywho. I can't put the padlock there because the water pump's there. Alright. Oh, hold on. Maybe I won't need to. Yeah, there we go.
It's so silly because we're almost done. I don't know why it decided to just die on me. Let me see if I can find a wolf for y'all. Well, there he is, I think. Or is that a beaver? No, it's a wolf. They're just like really low to the ground. My beavers. The other animal I'm missing is a narwhal. I assume it's a narwhal anyway. And the only thing they tell me is like, oh, it wasn't cold enough, but they didn't tell me how cold it needed to be. Just, it's not cold enough. When I'm already fighting with that area, like, get it to be cold enough to like, how do I say this? Like, it has to be cold enough to allow certain weather temperatures to happen. Narwhals living in the ocean causing a commotion. Okay, I accidentally um, set something off. They are awesome. Um, what was I saying? The, the Arctic area. It's like, it needs to be cold enough to... It needs to be warm enough to allow certain things to grow, but it needs to be cold enough for certain weather temperatures. If that makes any sense. It's a song. It's okay. Oh yeah, but see, now we have an airship. That's okay, these are our last two. And we hit all of our little optional goals. So there's ivy, there's salmon, there's ferns, migratory birds. Oh yeah, it says river, huh? But not lake. There's probably fish in the river somewhere. Oh here, hold on, let me just... Yes, we're leaving. Water lilies. If I can move. Oh yeah, I can move it a little bit. I feel like we don't have geese, but we have migratory birds, so we kind of have geese. I bet if I had forced spawned the deer in a couple other places, I could have gotten more wolves, but it's okay. Yeah, beavers. And whatnot. and I now have that area 100% because I have all the things. So like there's all the biomes and all the animals and then there's two versions of it. There's the river valley and the abandoned quarry. The abandoned quarry was super hard. <laughs> it took I had to restart that one so many times because I just wasn't reusing my resources in a good way. Uh, this is the tropical area. It's like an island. It has the beach, mangroves, coral reef, and a rainforest. I have all these. I haven't done the archipelago, the irritated sprawl. This one was fun. Like, I think the flooded city might be my favorite one in terms of, like, biomes. 
<clears throat> Although I really do like their the desolate islands as well. Or this is continental, tropical, temperate, and then polar. I don't have the narwhal. Anyway, that's what I'm missing. So, what difficulty? Uh, it doesn't really have a difficulty other than like the second one is harder than the first one because it introduces other things you learned in other areas. Um, but hold on. Let me. When you uh, start up, like I have three save files, or I can't have three save files. You go to option, so you go to gameplay, and there's different types: gardener, ecologist, environmental engineer, and they kind of tell you like what each one is. Actually, hold on. Um, new restoration? No, I don't want. Is that profile? New profile. Your restoration? Oh, it might not tell me. It might... Because it's a gameplay mode, I might have to... I wonder if there's somewhere where I can find that. Did it on Ecological Engineer? Yeah. Oh, this is it. Okay. Yeah, so Gardener, this is recommended for players seeking a relaxing experience. Ecologist. It's more strategy. And then this one says, not recommended for first playthrough. So, I didn't go with that one. So I guess if you just wanted to, like, worry less about the resources, you could do it on Gardener. There's also, um... Oh, here, yeah, never mind. It, it turns it on. Uh, tutorials enabled, Zen mode disabled, contextual hints disabled, recycling went out of resources. All of this is enabled, except for Zen mode. I don't know what Zen mode is. Oh, there we go. So, Gardener has more starting resources. And stuff costs less, but then over here, stuff costs more. That's interesting. Uh, well, maybe not ecologist. Okay, this is... I know how to play the game. Hold on. I was just doing a thing. Let me out. I exited all the way out completely. Anyway, there's a zen mode, which I imagine is kind of just like, you know, build your own areas, do what you want, sort of thing. Sandbox it a little. Um, I only planned on doing like the one um, area for tonight. I just wanted to get back into streaming. Like, I don't know if this makes any sense. Maybe Sushi can relate. But like, when I don't stream for a really long time, um, it takes me like, like I just keep. I feel like I I find myself just putting off streams. Like, well, I'll do it later or. You know, I'm not really in the mood to play anything, or I don't know what to play, and I feel like I put off streams and I put off streams. Um, so, like, I have to, like, like, hey, nope, we're streaming tonight, and so I did it. Um, and hopefully that gets me back into the habit and mood of streaming. Um, one second. Sorry about that. Uh, um, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. Just wanted to get back into stream. I know it's a short stream. I just wanted to do the one level. I had a goal. I reached the goal. Showed you all the game. Uh, but if it's something we like, you know, you guys like want to see me stream more of, I wouldn't mind streaming more of it. Maybe I'll stream getting narwhals or doing one of the harder areas. Um. 
But tomorrow, I want to stream tomorrow. I just don't know. <laughs> it's actually it's silly to say I don't know what to stream because I have plenty of games to stream. I have, you know, Prey that I stopped in the middle of Final Fantasy three, <clears throat> Sunless Skies. But like I, it's like I kind of sit there. I'm like, eh, I don't know what to do. And so I will. We will do something. Promise. Um. Oh, I I also been meaning to do this yes and no up and down. This is a little fiddly. I've been wanting to stream Dead by Daylight. Decision paralysis is real. It really is. I've been wanting to stream Dead by Daylight, but I know sometimes Dead by Daylight causes my streams to get finicky. Um, so I'm going to see if I can fix my settings and check on things in that area. But I do, I do want to play and like stream Killer for Dead by Daylight. So hopefully we'll do that in a bit. Um, but that, I just, like I said, I wanted to get back into streaming. I'm feeling a little better um, overall. And so hopefully I'll be a little more active. Uh, that is it for me tonight, though. I'm going to go start up Rebirth. I've had the game basically since it came out. <laughs> but I haven't played it because I was trying to do other things. Um, I was also trying to locate a PS5 to have. Um, you are so mad, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If I had a spare $60, I would send it to you so you could buy the game. Oh. Hugs. You'll get it soon. You will get it soon. I'm also, um, not right now, and not this weekend, but maybe next weekend, I'm not sure. There are still plans to stream the first part of the remake, like the one that's like just in Midgar, to stream it on hard. Um, to show you all that joyous experience. Um, and since, you know, we now have a PS5 and a PS4, um, having my PS4 in the room to stream should happen a little more often because it'll be a little easier. So I will stream uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake on hard, I'll be getting back to Lice of P, and I will stream Strangers in Paradise. The, that Final Fantasy spin-off thing that's kind of a Souls-like game, but not really. <laughs> it was good. I didn't beat it, but it was good. Like, I enjoyed it. Um... Okay. Yeah, no, really, though. Um, what was I saying? Above all that stuff. Anyway, that that's me for the moment. I will be streaming more often. Hopefully, I, I, I plan to stream tomorrow and over the weekend. And I'm also off Monday, so I might stream Monday as well. Um, I'm going to go make dinner and then start Rebirth. Y'all have a lovely evening or time of day that it is for you. Yulia, you better be asleep. Um... And I will see you tomorrow. I don't know what we're streaming yet tomorrow. If you have suggestions, feel free to DM them to me. But until then, thank you all so much for stopping by. I will see you next time. Bye!